because we're going to remove this old switch that uh, I don't know why they installed it here. This is a beautiful cast iron piece. I don't know why they installed the switch here. I'm gonna have to. I'll get to these holes once I come to start my restoration. For now, I just want my baby to be up and running. I need a switch, so since I don't want to put it on my cast iron piece. Uh, I'm thinking of installing it right here with these two bolts and the idea that I had it was to use some kind of plating that's gonna hold my my switch I need to connect my drill temporarily so I can drill up some holes. So let's do this. I'll keep this for future projects. So just remember that on the motor you you will often find that the wires are black and red and uh, well red is always live and the black one is neutral this should be a temporary thing just so that I can drill my holes in my plate here you see it I've uh, sketched out the template that I'll be using for this and uh, printed it out so I'll know exactly where it is that I need to do my holes. Sponging my holes. So I'm thinking that I need to hold this down. So this is the switch that I want to use. So it's just a rocker switch on off. So I need to connect my, my wires here, but I kind of see the screws there. Uh, pretty small, pretty tiny. So I'm kind of thinking, I got this uh, to cut all my connections, my terminals. And uh, they're, they're all, uh, as you see them all, they're, they're, they're all a little bit too big. I, I wish I had some spades like these red ones here. Definitely way too large. It's just wouldn't fit my little tiny screws over here. So, um, so I guess that settles it. I just have to take one of these and modify it. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is the winner. You just have to make the hole a little bit smaller. And guys, if you don't have yourself an anvil, I, I totally recommend uh, you you get one. It's more like this one. You, you don't need more than this, and this is perfect. And uh, you know, to do small little jobs in the house, just get one. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And I only suggest that you do not get the ones made in China. Um, if you could get yourself one of these ones, look, made in England. This is a company called Record. Uh, Yes, you pay for it a little bit more, but I had once made in China, but uh, I was hammering it and a little piece just 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 chipped off. Let's see if I could do this and this. 
you haven't seen how I how I done this hammer this handle you know, I'll put the link up here you guys go watch it to what it was before that's solid I think uh, I think this just might work guys first nut on first looking really nice It fits perfect guys. Perfect, perfect. This is where the switch is gonna be. I'll be working my machine on and off. Yeah. Next step. Okay, so now I'm preparing myself to etch a logo onto my plate. I thought of of uh, uh, etching my, my own logo but I, I thought of, uh, of uh, keeping the same theme as the machine itself which is a, a beaver power tools I'm gonna I'm gonna etch it uh, with, uh, with, uh, with my etcher that I made okay I got my water with uh, with uh, salt my pan put it on the on the wet cotton so now I'll turn it on put it to etch and let's go. Okay, we finished uh, etching it. So now I want to put it to mark. Now let's see how it came out. nice and dark yeah my etcher machine came through for me again so for those that don't know uh, the beaver brand uh, let me show you um, all my machines are beaver power tools this is exactly where I took it from I just I got this a little uh, junction uh, junction box 
on Amazon. I'll put the link below if anybody's interested. The, the cover doesn't fit. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it, it rocks a little bit. It uh, the leads themselves, they're they're sticking out a little bit. Can you see? So this one's here. We're gonna have to trim it down a little bit. Uh, it's my shear. well a bit of alcohol just need a little drop We wait 24 hours. Double clamps. Mm. Seems perfect. I'll be able just to slide my bracket. I'll make sure that I can read the sign well. It. Just turn this over. Luckily, I have all my machines on uh, on casters, so I can roll them around. Being quite heavy, it's, uh, it's very helpful. I got my box here. Blocked up a, a few holes that the junction box had with some epoxy. Now for the final test. Let's turn it on. Oh yeah, baby, the sound of victory. Clean, non-intrusive. Not like the way it was before. So like a. You have it well I truly hope uh, you enjoyed this video I hope uh, I gave you ideas on how to install a, a switch to, to, to your drill press or any other machines that you might have um, I would always say if it's cast iron something vintage don't be drilling holes where they shouldn't be, be drilled I hope you enjoyed this video um, and uh, I guess I'll be seeing you on the next video.